everyone, Paul from Oracle with Al Pal, and today I want to talk a little bit about Q angle, okay? So um, everybody has a different Q angle, women typically a little bit higher than men, and you know, there's a little variation there, and sometimes you can have a high Q angle and not have any knee problems whatsoever. But what I want to talk about today is finding where the patella tendon inserts. Now, we commonly think about the patella tendon kind of coming right down the leg and, you know, inserting centrally to a little bit laterally on the tibia, but I want to do a demonstration today about how lateral it can actually insert. And then by doing that um, and identifying that, you can, that can help with your diagnosis of the patient. Okay, so if you take a peek, so I'm going to have you come right around this way. Um, the, the quad starts at the ASIS, it comes down and you see this imaginary line going to the center of the kneecap and then you know, it kind of looks like she attaches right here. But what I do here is I put my finger right where I think it's attaching, okay? Then I ask the patient to do a quad set. So go ahead and tighten up that muscle and rest. And we're gonna do it again. And rest. And again. And I can feel that tendon attaching right here. So look at how lateral that is. If we take the center of the kneecap to the tibial tubercle, that angle is really, really high. So this young lady has a significant amount of tenderness at the supralateral patellofemoral junction right here uh, and has classic signs of lateral patella compression syndrome. And you can see with such a high Q angle how that would pull her over this way. So she's having a significant problem with descending stairs, going downhill, or if she is uh, hiking, going down some rocky surfaces, causes her a lot of supralateral discomfort over here, causing her globalized pain throughout the knee. So understanding this angle can help drive you to a diagnosis, which is patellofemoral in nature, but with her more of a lateral patella compression and possibly even a lesion underneath the lateral uh, service of the patella. So that's the direction we're going to be heading in. Uh, we're going to be trying to improve the mobility of her lateral retinaculum to try to take some pressure off there, strengthen the VMO as much as possible or the whole quad uh, in the pain-free range, and then have her see an orthopedic surgeon to have um, this identified to see if there's any uh, specific lesion underneath that kneecap uh, or on the lateral femoral condyle that is causing us all this trouble. Thanks.